welcome back to my channel and today we will be planning out this month's budget so peep this i started a new job and this week will be my first paycheck so i want us to plan out this month's pay and expenses for the month so let's go so remember i told you guys last time that this planner was gifted to me by a friend and it has so many different areas where you can input information but you can also do this on a regular calendar or a plain composition book so i'm just going to use my black pen to put in the month so it is november and the year is 2021. And the great thing about November is that the first started on a Monday. So we're just going to input these. Thirty. So November has thirty days in it, right? So let's go. Um, first thing is that payday will be on a Thursday. Guys, I forgot to show you. So, the planner also came with these stickers. I love stickers. That we will use, um, on our calendar. So, payday will be on Thursdays. And I will be getting paid every two weeks so i'm gonna put one there so first pay will be on the fourth and the second should be on the 18th wonderful and guess what guys my husband decided to join me so i will be um pulling in his finances with this and also keeping track of his expenses and incomes. So we're going to add his payday and he works for government. So we all know government gets paid at the end of the month. But here's a little trick guys. If the last day ends on like a weekend or a week, like the, a Monday or what's this, a Tuesday, it would be three days before the end of the month which is a sunday saturday so payday should be on the 26th of november for him it's usually three days before the end of the month and the third day ends on a weekend so that means they would push it to friday right good now let's put in some of our expenses for the month now i know that on the first of the month our cable internet um bill comes out so let's see what sticker can we use for cable and internet okay they have some bill due stickers so let's use that let's use the bill due on the first Put it up here because that won't be anything and i'll just label it cable internet but and our light bill usually comes out like around the 15th so i will put this sticker here on the 15th interesting huh and I will label this light or as we like to call them BPL <laughs> that is our light company here in the Bahamas okay so what else um, comes out rent our rent is paid on the end of the month do they have anything 
No, they don't. So let's just put bill due. End of the month on the 30th. And we will label it rent. Because you gotta live somewhere, apparently. And I think that's about it for our builds. Um, our website, our website bill comes out. Let me check it out. Okay, so that comes out on the 16th. So our website comes out on the 16th. So let's put bill due on the 16th. Ooh. Gee, come on, line up, be straight. And let's label it website right and um what is another expense that we have that comes out every month um <laughs> our prime amazon prime so i know for some people you would not put a subscriptions like if you i mean unless that is your thing if you pay for netflix hulu anything like that you would want to make sure that you add that in to your billing because it's consistent for us it's amazon because we order a lot of things off of amazon so prime is necessary for us okay so our prime what email is that in This came out yesterday on the first. So our Amazon Prime also comes out on the first of the month. So I'm just going to put Amazon on the first. Great. We're looking really, really good. So what we are going to do is because we know when our paydays are and they come, we can determine which pay period will pay for what for example this pay period can cover paying the light and the website as well as the other um daily expenses and these two paydays can cover the rent and when the first comes the internet and cable and also the amazon so you wouldn't have so have to Separate. I mean, you can separate if that what works for you. You can half it, and you can put half and half, or in our case, a third, <laughs> third half and half. Well, for me, I will half it, and he will half his own. So I can put half of my rent away, and then the other half of my rent away, and he can just pay his part of the rent, and we'll be we'll be ready for when the rent is due. So that's all I wanted to show you guys for today. I know these videos can be very long and I don't want to bore you with long drawn out budgeting videos, but just a quick little something something for you. And I hope you guys enjoy. Until next time, bye. What I wanted to tell you guys is that some things I'm going to keep a little private just for our sakes. That would include our incomes. Some of our incomes will be confidential. So you won't see our income amount and you won't see our tides amount, but we will try our best to be as transparent with you as possible so that you can see everything else because I don't want it to be like make believe. I want you to see it working out in itself. like step by step so i'm glad that you're here i hope that you would like comment and subscribe and until next time guys bye